Hi everybody here uh, in downtown Utica and I'm in a little kind of, I don't know if you call this a pocket park or a parklet, here in, uh, right in the middle of downtown and, and Utica has a lot of these little parks that were uh, created uh, in the last few decades that have really fallen on disrepair. And you can see this right behind me, there's garbage collecting, there's weeds growing through everything. Um, this is just not, you know, while the design of this little place is, is kind of nice, uh, this is not a really place that people are going to be welcomed to spend their time because it's been completely neglected. And I understand that a lot of the neglect is due to the lack of funding, uh, to maintenance of a, even a small uh, pocket park like this is, is very costly. And also because there's just not that many people walking around downtown. That's part of a bigger issue, of course. Downtown Utica, um, you know, saw a mass exodus of uh, businesses, as we all know, within the last, uh, you know, 50, 50 years or so. And the downtown businesses that are left, a lot of them are banks, like the Adirondack Bank sign I see back there, um, are insurance uh, uh, agents, um, you know, things that don't really activate the street, right? So there's not a whole lot of reason to park and walk around and create a lot of foot traffic. There's some really great places and that is changing slowly with time as new businesses do come in here and activate the streets like restaurants, uh, bars, shops, things like that. So the problem is, what do you do with these spaces in the meantime? Well, I think the important thing is, one thing I have a conversation with Uticans a lot is, you know, I say, hey, have you come down to check out the new street design, uh, the new 5S street redesign, for example? And a lot of people say, you know, I, I never really walked downtown. I've never really parked my car and kind of walked around. And I find this in a lot of cities, but Utica more so than most. This city, everyone drives everywhere. And I know we say that, we urbanists say that about pretty much every city and it's true, but this this city is the extreme example. Um, really nobody, if, if you're going from one place to another, you're probably not walking most of the time. And that's a shame because then you don't see things like this. You don't see possibilities where there is neglect. You don't see why is this street not, not activated. And you can see that, that there's just not a whole lot to bring people down here. So what do we do with that? How do we find creative solutions to get people back and approaching their street again? And we can't have that conversation unless we get people walking, unless we get people feeling the environment at the street level, getting out of their cars. So here's what I propose, Utica. I propose starting a, a some sort of walking coalition. Uh, you know, once every couple of weeks or something like that, uh, even, you know, in the summer, in the winter, whenever, start getting a few people together and start growing a walking community. Just walk around the city and talk about, kind of an informal charrette, and talk about how you feel in each space, right? Or maybe give some ideas as to how to reimagine or reactivate a space uh, that was, that's been, you know, neglected for, for some time, like this one, right? So that's the real key is getting people walking uh, in the spaces that they haven't walked for a long time or maybe forever. And I think that would be a really, really fruitful thing for Utica. Who's gonna start it here? I wanna see some activation. I wanna see some, uh, I wanna see some movement on this because I think getting people, more and more people walking downtown Utica, I think will start, uh, I think could really, really start the engine, stoke the fire of reimagination of a lot of these spaces like the one I'm in right now. Uh, take it under consideration, think about it, get back to me, leave a comment, love to hear. Thanks so much everybody.